Today, I'm going to be taking a look at something new. You'll have seen probably in the title and thumbnail, but we won't spoil it fully yet. I'm going to open this box and then you'll immediately know what's inside. And here we go. Flip this over. Now it is very obvious. We are taking a look at MKS Moto Kicks. So there's a story behind this. Oh wow, there's a bunch of stuff in this box. So there's a story behind this as we open and take a look. So first we see some socks. Nice. Socks for active feet made in the USA. MKS Moto Kicks is a brand out of Pennsylvania that my buddy Ryan called me and sent me videos and pictures and was super excited about, take a look at the socks here. He called me from a dirt bike race, super, super excited about these shoes. And he was talking to the guy and he's like, hey, you gotta talk to this guy. And so I talked to the guy and I'm here to try out some of these shoes. So let's take a look at the socks first. Looks like the top is thinner. The bottom is definitely thicker. You can feel the difference in the material, like the higher tops on the ankles. Because when I ride, I wear ankle braces and any shoe that's cut or sock cut off below the ankles hurts. Uh, looks like there might be some sort of extra stitching. I don't know. I don't want to read too far into the socks, but we've got some stickers. Yo, what is this? Ah, there's, uh, there's some stuff on here, but there's some info. Okay, all right, all right. Stickers, hell yeah, MKS Moto Kick stickers. So it looks like there's some uh, 20% off cards I could give to people. There's the Soul Pro Tech, which we'll talk about in a second, as well as a shirt in here. That is, that's a comfy feeling shirt. Let's take a look at the shoes. So here is one of them. All right, so we got extra sole, man, there's so much. Another one of those things, extra laces. Is this like a bracelet? It's kind of dope. I think that's just like a bracelet. So let's set this box aside and get our first impressions on the shoes. So first of all, there is a ton of padding on the sides here, like a ton. You can just see looking down in there that this is super thick padding right here as well as on the back. Feels like it goes about halfway down the shoe so that once your foot is in there all the way, it feels like it might lock it in well. Hard to say, it's just what it feels like. First impressions here. These are size 10. Let's take a look. So it looks like soles that are included have like some foam padding to them. Well, let's take a look at these. One simple step to sole protection and comfort, just slide the SPT under your shoes insole and the pressure impacts punctures from the bottom, outsole, SPT insole up top here, protecting your feet when your shoes can't. Ah, yeah, this is definitely different than the other thing. Basically, it feels like some protection for the foot. Now, this would go into here. So that goes in there. And then these feel like a bit thicker, like more comfort. They go on top of this? I'm not sure. What I do know is that I want to keep looking at the shoe. So it's got a stitched outsole. I believe this is the outsole stitched all the way around. It's got this thick plastic piece that goes up the side on both sides. So that's some protection for that. 
as well as stitching on the front. Feels like a suede material. This feels more like the leather-ish material. Don't know exactly, don't wanna be wrong. Now, the important part. Let's feel how thick the soles feel. Mmm, they're like a medium thickness. The bottom here is definitely pretty thick. The front is like medium thickness. And then I would imagine with the insert that it's probably even stiffer feeling for your feet. And that is something that I was really interested in with the conversation with MKS because I definitely do not like my feet feeling any type of like sketchiness. So I like the idea of that piece, this piece that goes inside. And what does this paper say? Sole protection technology, patented full length protection insert, slide it under the insole and it will dissipate impacts and pressure. The SPT creates a sturdy feel while improving comfort. It is removable and can be used in any other footwear. Try it out. Memory foam insole, here we go. All I needed to do was read. This is the memory foam insole. It's included as an option for added comfort and or different feel. If they get flat, toss them into the washer and dryer and they will be rejuvenated. Another thing here is the shift pad. This is not something I would have noticed, but you'll notice if you look at the left and right, there is a difference between left and right. This side has the shift pad, it's on the top of the left shoe. Protect your toes and shoe when shifting. Perfect feature for pit bikes and casual riding. Then the flat and grippy outsole. So that would be this part. Durability, extra traction in all conditions. Either mountain biking, hiking, or whatever else you can think of. So feeling the shoe itself. Ooh, I like that. I like when you have a shoe and you can't just bend it in half. Definitely feels solid there. So we would toss this in on top of that. And it does feel like I might have to trim that, this piece, a tiny bit on the front to get it to go in here smoothly. But before we do that, we should definitely see how these things feel comfort-wise. All right. There we are. I, this is a 10 and on me, my toe goes right to the edge of this, which I think is good. But immediately putting these on, you could feel the thickness of the padding on the sides. I'll probably lace them up all the way to here. And wearing my ankle braces, I should be okay. It definitely feels like there will be room for the ankle brace in there. Feels like it'll, it'll open up a little bit. Nice thick tongue on there. That sounds so weird. Overall, I don't have any discomfort. And what I like about these shoes is the attention to protection that they offer. I like that it has this inner plastic piece which your crank arm could rub on and hopefully not be able to get to you. I mean, that is, it's gonna be tough for your crank arm to get through that and hit you other than right there. The also added elements of this being stitched is always good on shoes. It'll be interesting to see how foot jams in that feel because the shoes that I've ridden for years had a gnarly plastic piece over the front here, which makes it so I literally can't feel foot jams at all. So that'll be interesting, but otherwise, I don't wanna give, you know, judgments yet because obviously I haven't ridden in them and that will be coming. I'm gonna ride in these shoes for at least a month before I talk about them. But I have a feeling that these shoes, the sole feels nice. It's like a nice, almost super, super like stiff mountain bike shoe, but not quite. But I have a feeling these are going to be nice when riding for protecting the sides of your feet. Foot jams you probably will feel. If you want a thicker sole but you don't want to have like bricks on your feet where you can't feel it at all, this is going to be nice because there's flexibility in the front but not as much in the back so it'll be a bit thick but maybe not too much for you. 
Otherwise, I don't know what else we can say at this point. The pattern on the bottom of the shoe is familiar. I am going to be curious to see how long these lines last whenever I'm riding them, but that's the whole point of riding them, giving feedback. And the price on this model, the MX runs 133 from their website. They do have a mid top, which I think is available at this point, which runs 140. So with that being said, thanks to MKS, Moto Kicks, and Frenchie for being down to let me try these out. Let me know what you think or if you've seen these before in the comments down below. And hopefully all of this goes well, but either way, I hope I see you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you there. Goodbye.